Manchester United may have a prime managerial candidate right under their nose as they scout the world for a top name to take charge. The Red Devils are gearing up for a jam-packed summer, with appointing a new permanent boss top of their priority list. Club hero Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was sacked after a torrid run of results this season, which kick-started United's dugout dilemma. Michael Carrick stepped in on a caretaker basis before Ralph Rangnick was appointed under slightly different terminology as interim boss until the end of the season. Having held back on signings in January, it is clear that the Red Devils have one eye on the summer when someone will be required to lead a daunting rebuild. United's star-studded squad has failed to deliver in recent seasons, with standards high among the Premier League's other big hitters. PSG boss Mauricio Pochettino has been heavily linked to Old Trafford, but fears persist that he may turn down the opportunity. Eric Ten Hag has also drawn plaudits for his tremendous work with Ajax, but the success of his project could yet tempt him to stay in Amsterdam. This week, ESPN reported that Carlo Ancelotti has emerged as a surprise candidate, and the idea of hiring the Real Madrid manager is supposedly endorsed by Red Devils hero Sir Alex Ferguson. But United may wish to take inspiration from the decision to hire Ferguson himself, having recruited him as a relatively unfashionable name in 1986 after enjoying success in Scotland with Aberdeen. Amid speculation linking glittering names from PSG, Real Madrid and Ajax to the Old Trafford hot seat, there may be a similarly understated but viable option in Southampton. Ralph Hazenhuttle is now into his fourth season with the Saints, where the club have opted to stick with him through underwhelming times, and now appear to be reaping the rewards. Rangnick may have already laid the groundwork for the Austrians' preferred 4-2-2-2-2 formation, which requires tireless running, pressing, and direct passing to create chances on the counter-attack. Although Hazenhuttle's philosophy took a while to hit home on the south coast, a switch appears to have been flicked, and they are currently on a seven-game unbeaten run.